Hey guys, listen, before we get into the video, um, one, I'm going to tell you, this was intense as hell. The Evo Choice Pack was intense. It got crazy. I didn't know what to take, and just trust me, it was a lot of fun. But two, something really important here. Tomorrow, I am doing a QA. and um, I'm going to be recording it tonight. So leave any questions that you have. I already have a bunch. Um, I'm going to be putting your names up on the screen and that, and we're just going to do a little Q&A, a live Q&A. Well, maybe not live. I don't know yet. I could totally live stream the Q&A, but I'm thinking maybe just do like a uh, gameplay in the background type thing. Let me know what you guys want to see. And again, leave some questions down below. Let's go ahead and get into this insane choice pack. What's going on, guys? Thrash back here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a brand new video where today we are finally going to be opening up one of these Evo choice packs. I finally did it. I finally got top 100. It took, I think this is what, round like 14 or 15 or 16? 13! Actually, it's not even that bad. Only took me 13 seasons to get this fucking choice pack. <laughs> took long enough, but not only did I not even finish top 5, I finished top 100. That's wicked. That's awesome. Let's take a look and see what I got here. I know I missed out on that Shanahan. I would have loved to have gotten that Shanahan, but not a big deal. Not a big deal. What did I get here? So I got a choice pack of 10 random Evo players. That's awesome. Two ultimate packs, a qualification collectible for next week, and 25,000 coins. So that's awesome. That's great. So let's go ahead, open up these packs. Now again, this is the first time I've ever opened up one of these uh, Evo choice packs. I'm super excited. And I, I probably, with my luck and how it's been lately, I'm probably going to get all like 90 overalls. But either way, that's fine. That's great. It finally happened. Let's do the ultimate pack first. But before we do, we gotta see what's out. Um, I think it's the same stuff as yesterday. But I just wanna make sure. Yep, yeah, so we got the Flurry of the Holtby, the Smith, and the Yoshi. We got these guys that we can't pull. We got OBL, Backlink, Kreider, and Antrigetto. And then the Team of the Week. I think that's it. And hey, we still have a chance of getting that Obi. We still have a chance of that Obi. Maybe we'll get the Evo Obi. That'd be cool too. We got Obi, Kuznetsov, Wheeler. So we got some really good stuff that we can pull here today. Two ultimate packs, that Evo Choice pack. Let's go. All right, well, we're going to start off with the ultimate packs. And this one, very nice and simply, we're going to go card by card, nice and slow through it, and unveil all these playoff pulls that we're about to get. We got a Mark Stone to start off. It's not horrible. It's not great. But uh, OBL, I would have liked to have pulled that uh, International Player of the Game version, but that's all right. We got Vlasic. David Posternock. Yep, yeah, Vander Kane signing a brand new extension. I don't know, guys. I feel like that's a lot of money for Evander Kane. Seven million a year for seven years, I think is what it was. It's a lot. It's a lot. We got Ekholm. We got Martinez. Radulov, what's up? Yep, that's great. Clefbaum, I heard he might be on the move. Vasileski, he's got a uh, really good playoff card, but unfortunately not there. We got McAvoy. Wierenski, all right, yep. This is, looking, uh, this is looking really good so far. This is looking great. All of these great pulls. Zetterberg, my captain, I love ya. And Ghost, another great card. Anyone else? Nash and Horvat, and... My boy, Mikhail Sergachev, former Wizards Spitfire, but guess what? That is an absolutely horrible ultimate pack. Well, clearly that w that just didn't work. Going that way, going that route, it just didn't work. So instead, for this one, I'm going to blow it up. You guys can see everything. I'll go all the way to the end and go back to the front, and I will turn around and take a look and see what we get here. So let's go ahead, open it up. Come on. I'm just going to blow it up. We need at least one play up front, all right? We need at least one. Alright, come on. Alright, it's open. We're at the end. Three, two, one. Uh, Zach Cassian, former Spitfire, but that's not, uh, that is not great. I wonder if we got any, anything, anything. Any playoff pulls, anything? Seabrook, what's up? Suter, Nielsen, Jason Spezza, former Spitfire. Love seeing those guys in here. Hey, oh, back to back legends. What's up, boys? Cam Fowler, former spit, gotta get that in there. And of course, the meme himself, Jim Sekik, Joe Sakic, my favorite legend card here in NHL 18. I like him more than Bure. I like him more than Medano. I love this card. And then Randy Carlisle, we pulled him yesterday too. Probably the worst legend in the game, but even so, not a bad pull. Got Bo Horvat, Johnny Gaudreau, Skinner, yep, 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 yep. Hey, okay, J Beagle, we get a playoff card. That's not, uh, <laughs> that's not great, but you know what? Three special cards in one pack, that's not too bad. Now, let's go to that Evo Choice Pack. Let's have some fun with that and see what we get. The very first time I've ever opened up one of these 90 plus overall Evolution Choice Packs. I'm excited, I'm nervous, and I really don't know what I'm going to get here. I've seen everyone else open these up. Sods open them up. 
Bojo's open them up. Setakosh is open them up. I need to fucking let's go. It's taking so long for me to get one of these damn things. So, let's go. First card, Tyler Sagan. That's not, that's not horrible, but Tyler Sagan, 94 overall. He doesn't go for that much. Obviously, not getting any upgrades here, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Card number two, Johnny Gaudreau. Okay, 98 overall. Again, not going to get any more upgrades. He's not like the most expensive one out there, but 98 overall can never go wrong. That's solid. Uh, Jack Eichel's not bad, but again, he doesn't go for too, too much. Ah, Voracek. What could have been for Voracek, man? If he would have gotten that team of the year, he would have kept up the pace that he started out with. Man, that could be a great card. We are four through. Number five, Eric Stahl. All right, so we're halfway through here, and I am 100% uh, taking Johnny Gaudreau so far. Um, I love the Jack Eichel, and I love the Sagan, but no way am I passing up the 98 Gaudreau. Come on, give me a 99. Ooh, <laughs> that's bad. That's really bad. I'm getting nervous here, guys. We only have a few more cards to go. We don't see a 99. I need a 99. Come on. Oh, Sebastian Ajo, 95. He's really not expensive at all. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> all right. All right. Couple more to go, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we got two more to go here. Johnny Gaudreau still in the lead here. Come on. Ah, uh, Hellepuck's not horrible, but they're out of the playoffs, so. Oh no, 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 no. We didn't. We're not gonna get a 99 here, are we? Come on. We got one more to go here. Oh, this is bad. Like this is one of the worst ones I think I've seen. This is bad. Not a single 99. Bojo had 399 goalies. I'd even take a 99 goalie at this point. 399. Come on. Yes! <laughs> 99, Alex Pietrangelo. Let's go. I'm happy with that. He might not be the most expensive card. And, in fact, and he might even go for less than the Johnny Gaudreau, but I am never going to take anything less than a 99. Johnny Gaudreau, I love you, but I'm sorry. I got to take Pietrangelo in the spot. Wow, that's... uh. <laughs> Damn, that was that was intense. I was really nervous there. I'm taking the Petri Angelo for sure, but uh, I was I was really sweating that we weren't gonna get a 99. So there it is. I took the Alex Petri Angelo. I had to. I absolutely had to. Now, now I need to do this. I need to do this for me. Is Petri Angelo going for more than Johnny Gaudreau? Now I know Gaudreau wasn't going for a lot, and the main reason for that is I just like 91 or 92 overall card. He was already at like 99 everything for speed and all that stuff. So, let's see here. Let's see what Petriangelo is going for. And we'll see what uh, Gaudreau is going for. I can't imagine, I mean, Eichel I know is less than 100K right now. So I'm not too concerned with that. Petriangelo, what are you going for? Oh, 200K? I can get, looking like 200. The cheapest one is 219. That's wicked. That is absolutely awesome. If I get even 190 for him, I will be very happy. Johnny Gaudreau, my guess is probably around 130, 140. Um, I remember seeing him earlier. We did do a trade day. So I remember seeing him before. No, he's not an enforcer. Come on. Don't be worth too much, Gaudreau. Ooh, 299, 278. 180. Okay, I'm happy. I'm I'm safe. <laughs> I am safe. I got the most expensive card out of there. Guys, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. That was intense. That was really intense, and I'm really happy that we got that Petriangelo. That's, uh, I mean, I, I really can't complain. That was awesome. And hopefully we can do it again next week. Hut Champs again this weekend. I'm thinking about doing a live game or two. So let me know if you guys want to see that. I can stream over at my buddy's house. So let me know if you guys want to see that. I really want to get into live streaming. Um, unfortunately, I can't really do it at the location I'm at right now. But uh, in the future, NHL 19, I will 100% be live streaming. So hopefully you guys will stick around for that stuff. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you later.